Is Joseph Gregory Hallett the true king of England and Ireland? I've been seeing a lot about this. He claims to be the illegitimate son of Anne Boleyn. He says Anne Boleyn was not uh, put to death. She was put in the tower, but she was not put to death. The illegitimate son of Sir Walter Raleigh. And it's either 10 times removed, the 10th generation, or the 12th generation. This is his website. He has a pretty good website. They, there was, a, in 2004, there was a, a, a documentary made of this uh, called Britain's Real Monarch. And I think that gave him a lot of cred. So let's take a look at his website here. All, predic all predictions fulfilled timeline, 350 to 33 AD, holy, the Holy Grail object, myths and legends and all literature, films and games keep the myths and legends alive, hence the G for generative. I have no idea what that means. Um, let's go to the next one. C1 AD Book of Predictions, discovered in 19, 1596 by Sir Walter Raleigh, who was then granted the rights to be king of North America, but chose instead to breed himself into the line of the predicted one with Queen Anne Boleyn's granddaughter. So he's saying that Sir Walter, he's, Sir Walter Raleigh and Anne Boleyn's granddaughter got together and it would have, eventually he is the progeny of that. 700 to 710 AD, the first confirmed authenticated bound Bible was made in Newcastle in a muddy bog called Yahweh. Uh, Yahweh is the uh, Hebrew term for Jehovah. You've heard of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, so Yahweh is the Hebrew term. The muddy bog or Yahweh kept the enemies at bay. Hmm. The Bible is the book of a religion designed to contain and conceal the predictions made by the master, also known as Jesus, also known as Joshua, Yeshua, John, John Ram, and passed on by Merlin 34 to Constantine in England, predicting he would become emperor. Uh, uh, Joshua is not Jesus. That's a derivative of uh, Joshua is a derivative of the name Jesus. Yeshua is the uh, Hebrew name for Jesus. John is a different character, and I don't know who John Ram is. Uh, with Merlin's 34 predictions fulfilled, Emperor Constantine honored the conversation and imbued the Jesus-John predictions Merlin 34 was messaging into a religion based around a book called the Bible, or Holy Bible, which contained Jesus-John's predictions for the next person to be the scapegoat, represent the end times, new age, and times of the end, and royal lineage of a united kingdom, just as the master Jesus John had done in his era. He's putting a whole bunch of things together. Jesus was the scapegoat. Essentially, I think he is claiming to be Jesus Christ. Okay, so he's making some connections here with film. Uh, and he's saying that these films are predictive and showing you that, in fact, he is the king of... He's, he, may, uh, he may be claiming to be king of, like, almost the whole world. He's claiming to be king of, of all of the Commonwealth nations. Let's see. Coronation year 1953, Roman Holiday. There's a film named Roman Holiday is an anagram of H. Royal Domain and illustrates someone called Joe Gregory Hallett to be born in 1961, wears the crown. He starts with coronation year 1953, Roman holiday. And he's saying that there are signs and symbols in the movie Roman Holiday uh, that is pointing to him being, uh, that is pointing to him being king uh, in 1961. Hallett is codified as Wallet, Gelato, Bigliet, Biglietera, and the large baritone ukulele is homophonous with UK King Laddie. Three times it confirms 2017 is the year it will happen. So basically he's talking about a large baritone ukulele 
in the movie Roman Holiday. Prince Philip affirms Roman Holiday and the transfer of her royal domain to his royal domain by walking on the set in front of the Pantheon with a Navy admiral, admiral as notary confirming the codes of Roman Holiday are notably noticed and notarized by the Navy. Hmm. I doubt anyone would confirm that. Elizabeth II was born illegitimate in Mayfair above the Coach and Horses Pub at number 5 Brutton Street, hence Channel number 5. Audrey Hepburn as Princess Anne confirmed this in Roman Holiday by walking through a coach and horse 11 years later. Audrey Hepburn starred in My Fair Lady, meaning May Fair Lady. All of this codifies which history bears out. This mostly just sounds like a lot of nonsense to me. 1959 to 1962, quick draw McGraw cartoon, also known as Pepe Legal, meaning Joseph Legal. Okay, are you gonna make that? Uh, are you gonna are you gonna translate it that way, you listener? Uh, it has the byline "I'll show you" and competes its opening sequence with a chest full of royal marks, the same as Queen Victoria presented in 1850 to affirm her firstborn and only legitimate child, Prince Marcos Manuel, was to become G King John II of the United Kingdom, as he did in 1969. One of the cartoon sketches reads, Dis Inside Clues Closet, predicting Joseph Gregory Hallett would live inside Dis for Joseph to be legal, and Dis was the Clues Closet. So literally, he's pointing to a Quick Draw McGraw cartoon and saying that the Quick Draw McGraw cartoon is pointing to him as, uh, as king. They hear in videos, episode 33, Barabbas versus Christ, part two of four. May 2020, this is just published. The Pope, Queen, and Prince William continue to do soft abdications to Joseph Gregory Hallett, and they continue to clap for the coronavirus and NHS, equaling we crown him the new Hallett sovereign, Joseph Gregory Hallett. What does clapping for the carers at the NIH, NI, NHS have to do with Joseph Gregory Hallett or any kind of ab abdication? Uh, let's continue. Great. Times 12 grandmother, Queen Anne Boleyn. Okay, so Anne Boleyn was not executed. She is the his great, 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 great grandmother, allegedly, got the Bible together and passed on the Christ lineage to her grandson. He is claiming Christ lineage. So he defines Christianity to its very basics, is past the most valuable royal mark in the British Empire, and tells the story of the CIA giving him the right to rule the world. He's ruler of the whole world. He has the Christ lineage. And the CIA gave this to him. Speaking with the recurrence of Patton at the Parthenon in Athens, then take him to Patmos for the Revelation. Uh, John, the, John the Apostle wrote the, the book of the Revelation in Patmos. Uh, the mummy... Now he's pointing to another movie, The Mummy, in 2017, confirms Joseph Hallett has been ISIS, chosen since 1980, and is chosen by the Prior de Sion to represent the end times and new age, confirming the title Christ, and is therefore the King of England. He's saying now that, I, so he's throwing in ISIS, CIA, and Bolin, uh, he's... He has the Christ lineage. He's sounding to me uh, a lot like a schizophrenic. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. A lot of there's a lot of talk about uh, Greg Hallett being the true king of England, uh, and this is his website, and this is the picture off his website. Uh, so he has like a flaming sword. It's a real fantasy thing. It's, it's like he's walking into Narnia. This looks like, you know, Jesus Christ is the Lion of Judah. So that's a Christ symbol. Uh, yeah. So that's like Aslan. Let's, you know, is, is 
is he a nutter? Is Greg Hallett a nutter? Or is there some legitimacy to these claims? I, you know, I didn't, re you know, I'm a card reader. I mean, I could have researched uh, how close in time Sir Walter Raleigh was with the granddaughter of Anne Boleyn. I don't know if they were contemporaries. I mean, the timing could all be off, and it could be simply historically impossible that these connections are made. I'm not sure. I didn't research it deeply enough. <clears throat> but let's see what the cards have to say. Is Joseph Gregory Hallett the true king of England, as he claims? Let's see what the cards want to tell us. Oops, okay. We have the no. Is Joseph Gregory Hallett the true king? Woman, through Anne Boleyn, he, his lineage is traced through Anne Boleyn over a very long period of time. So he traces his lineage all the way back to Jesus Christ. And I actually think that he's claiming to be Jesus Christ. Uh, and anyone who claims to be Jesus Christ I'm kind of skeptical. Uh, behind Fox, clever tactics or deception. Scourge, repeated deception or cleverness. Hmm. Because he keeps hammering it. He's been hammering this since about 1980. 1980, 1981, he's been, he discovered that he's the true king of England. He lives in Australia. What do we have here in the outcome? Four-leaf clover, no. Fence-sitter, sun, and snake. Uh, big problems will be revealed. Big, deeply rooted problems reacting to big, deeply rooted problems. Uh, and lost opportunity, stuck, feeling stuck. Reacting to feeling stuck and lost opportunities and deeply rooted problems. This could say, you know, uh, the, the snake and the four-leaf clover mirroring each other. He's reacting to uh, his illness. Yeah. So uh, he's having uh, this, I, I think he's having delusions of grandeur. Okay, this is called delusions of grandeur. So, yeah, we have deception and repeated deception, and we have reacting to uh, things and his illness exposed. I, I think he's kind of crazy. I'm not... So, I asked, is he the true king of England? Well, the royal family card is ten diamonds, we didn't get the ten diamonds. Four diamonds, ten diamonds. I would like to see a very solid foundation. I don't. I see actually the fence sitter in the in the outcome. Very wishy-washy. Uh, I see deception. I see repeated deception. Uh, I'm not impressed with what the cards are showing me for him to be. Oh, and I forgot to show you the delisting of the Hidden King of England. So I looked up his books, too. Um, so let's... Okay, so what does Charles think of Gregory Hallett? Does Charles believe his claims? So let's look at Charles and Gregory Hallett. Olive tree. Uh, Gregory Hallett and Charles. He's over here. Gregory Hallett... Charles. Well, here's the royal family cards. We have this. Uh, hmm. For Gregory Hallett, we have cast out and separated from the royal family. He's reacting to being cast out and separated from the royal family. What do we have over here on Charles' side? King, he's got the ruler card, King of England, future. He's on the track to be the King of England. 
What is this earthquake? Earthquake is destruction. Uh, everything that came before, he's looking at the destruction of the monarchy. Charles is looking at the destruction of the monarchy. 23, 28, seven spades. These secrets destroying the monarchy. Hmm. What's up here? Inheritance cornerstone of olive tree. 20, five spades, blocked. These are very solid royal family cards. Inheritance cornerstone. These are the cards that I wanted to see in, you know, is in the first spread is Gregory Hallett the true king of England. I wanted to see all three of these cards. So underlying this entire spread is the monarchy and the very deep rooting of the monarchy. So this spread, uh, Charles is taking him a little bit seriously. This spread could say, this spread could say that he's legit. I'm not seeing it. Let's just keep going here. He, he sounds like a schizophrenic to me. So he has one, he has a whole bunch of books out and they're crazy titles. They look pretty sketchy to me. Uh, not very well read, uh, you know, on Amazon. You can look up Gregory Hallett on Amazon and find all his books. Well, one particular book is The Hidden King of England. And I clicked on that as of particular interest, and it's not available. It's delisted. Now, I'm an Amazon author. I have several books on Amazon. I know how it works. Why would it not be listed on Amazon? Why would it be delisted? Why would it not be available? There's no reason for that. Um... Because I know how that works. I know intimately how that works. So did the royals, you know, pressure someone and delist the hidden king of England, which is Hallett's book that he wrote about this? Did the royals delist his book? Uh, coffin, ending and hidden, and roadblock. Blocked uh, foundation. Let's see. Nine and eleven. Five spades. Blocked. Blocked. Five spades. Uh, they blocked and it's and it's they stopped and blocked and it's hidden. Hmm. His foundation underneath. Angel. Handcuffs and water into wine. He wants to renew. He very honestly wants to renew his his claim to the throne. So I asked, did the royals, did they apply pressure and remove his book? Well, we have blocked and ended. They blocked and ended this foundation, and then it's blocked again. Uh, and he's, he's showing his honest, and he's showing his very honest. That's interesting. So I'm getting some, up here it looks a little bit like Maybe his claim has some merit. Here it's looking like, again, underneath, maybe his claim has some merit. Here, it looks to me like he's reacting to his internal dialogue. He's reacting to feeling stuck. He's reacting to his mental illness. That's what it looks like over here. He looks to be reacting. So we have three queens. Queens are very much the environment. We have no kings on is, is he the true king. Okay, so his own family, including his mother, put out a disclaimer video stating that uh, Gregory Hallett is insane and they don't even believe his claims. Okay, and his own mother uh, went on video and said she doesn't believe him. He's crazy. Were they paid or compelled by the crown, or do they really believe that he's insane? Because, you know, your family saying that is pretty powerful. Do they really believe he's insane, or were they compelled? Uh, 
uh, on top, right on the surface. Okay, family relationship 12, conflict, butterfly, very publicly the family, very publicly the family said that he's insane. You know, uh, very publicly the family declared him insane. Six spades, um, incubus, succubus, oppressed by, this could be literal oppression by demons or, you know, rather insanity. So that's what's right on the surface. They just went on, on record saying that he's insane. So underneath, three diamonds, Trinity, working together, outside influence for money. So they were paid to do this, to communicate officially. They communicated, they worked with the royal family. They were influenced by money and working with the royal family to state that he's insane. So they actually did, the royal family did pay them to do this and influence them to do this. Hmm. So we're getting a little bit of both. So let's, let's review this. So here, he is looking like he's insane to me. Now, something I wasn't considering before throwing this spread, it is possible that he actually is the true king of England, but he's insane. Okay, his trials and tribulations and what, whatnot have kind of driven him insane because... Too many adverse situ circumstances in life can really cause someone to snap, you know, and have a breakdown. So he actually looks insane to me over here. He looks like, let's see, uh, he's just claiming this lineage over a long period of time, but he's deceived and he just keeps hammering it home. And he seems driven by his own mental illness and reacting to his internal dialogue. That's what that says to me. Uh, is Charles, what does Charles think of him? Charles is worried about him. Charles is a little bit worried about him. Uh, he's worried that he could destroy the monarchy. And we have the all of the monarchy cards here. Ten diamonds, four diamonds, six clubs. That's what I expected to see in the first spread. We have it all up here. So these cards could only relate to Charles. Charles is getting the king card, okay, and ascending the throne. And he's, uh, Hallett is getting, he's get cast out and separated from the family. Uh, so this kind of says to me, it's possible that his claims are legitimate, but it all sounds like nonsense to me. Uh, did the Royals delist his book? Yes. Yes, they did. Uh, he's just being honest about his thing, uh, honest about his claim honest about renewing his claim to the throne and they did delist it so the royals are taking him seriously enough that they're delisting his book that they're paying his relatives to say he's crazy so there may there the royals are actually worried about gregory hallett a little bit uh but the way they're dealing with this is saying he's crazy but it is possible that he's crazy but he has a legitimate claim nonetheless. And that's kind of what I'm getting out of these cards. So here, you know, the last spread, does his family believe that he's actually crazy? Because his own mother stated that she doesn't believe his claims, you know, along with the family. Well, right on the surface, they're saying, we don't believe you because you're crazy. Okay, but underneath, the royal family paid them to do this. It was an official act for money, and outside influence working together. So it's a little bit of both. It's six of this and half a dozen of the other. Uh, I actually think that he is crazy. I think that he's a schizophrenic. Uh, but the royal family is concerned about his claims enough that they are taking action. They take action against him. So, and Charles looks concerned. So... My conclu that's my conclusion. Uh, the royal family is concerned about Gregory Hallett. Uh, the royal family is concerned about Gregory Hallett. Uh, and his, I don't know, I, it just sounded like nonsense to me. Uh, and the cards, it's a mixed bag here. We're getting yes and no. We're getting crazy and we're getting, but the royals are concerned about him anyway. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method.
Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Uh, out of stock for a couple of weeks now, the cards. Many thanks to the generous folks who uh, support my work by buying me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.